Hey, what up, friendlies? It's BC from A7 Video here to talk to you today about something I think is really excellent that was going on in the news late last week. I think Thursday I saw the article published about something that GameStop is doing. So taking a break, you can see behind me here from doing my GOAT Simulator playthrough that I know some of you have probably already watched the first episode for. So stay tuned for more of that for the rest of the week. But back to the GameStop news. So GameStop reports that they're going to start stocking a hybrid type of game on their used game shelf. So it's not technically a used game, it's not technically a new game, but they're going back through the metrics of all their used games and deciding what games out of that those metrics can they stock on their used game shelf. So for example, um, if you're like me, you went out around Christmas and purchased Xenoblade Chronicles and Metroid Prime Trilogy uh, for the Wii because they had it on sale and they decided, and that was kind of one of their pilot titles that they did to make the final decision to do this. So what they did was they realized that this was a popular game. They restocked it to see how well it would sell. Now granted, when they did that, it came out at like 90 bucks. And then I think they have eventually discounted it. Now I think it sells for around 40. I think I got it for 30 during the uh, Christmas sale. But what that means for us and why this is potentially good news, in my opinion, is that those of us that like to play retro games and don't want to um, spend, like for example, one of the games that I wanted for a long time was Valkyrie Profile. And I bought that years ago for about a hundred and some change. Well, now if GameStop realizes that this is a particular title that's really popular, they'll go back and, and the, the coolest part is they're going to work with the publishers to either purchase the rest of the inventory that the publishers are still holding if it's a really popular game or if the publishers have gone through their inventory they're going to work with the publishers to reprint new copies so this is different from used games in that with used games the publishers see no revenue GameStop pockets all that that's where they make the bulk of their money but in this hybrid solution they actually make a little bit more than they make on new games because the profit margins if you don't know about game sales the profit margins on new games is very 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 tiny but with a hybrid game they can go back and sell it uh, for a good amount more than what they would purchase wholesale from a publisher but the great news is that's money in the publishers pockets versus just used games where the publishers don't make any money so for people like me that want to play old school games like earthbound and even though that's on the you know the virtual console now for years that wasn't so the Suikoden, the Suikoden 2s, the Final Fantasy 7s, you know, the black labels that, you know, cost so much. Uh, and Final Fantasy 7 is probably a bad example. But like Xenoblade Chronicles is a perfect example. A game that was out of stock. You couldn't buy it. If you went to buy it on Amazon, it was $100. GameStop swoops in, realizes this is a popular game, and stocks it. And granted, they stocked it for 90 but then they had the sale where I got it for 30 and now I think it sells for 40 So I think it's good news for everybody involved, for those of you that like to play retro games. And kind of the GameStop's quote that came out in the article was, every time we go into a new console generation, there is a demographic of people who still want to experience the games of old. And that's who they're reaching out. They're reaching out to the me's of the world. If you're in that same boat with me, I think this is excellent news. Especially, I think it's good to great news. And what will make it great uh, is will be dependent upon how these they they evaluate their metrics. So if you know they're only going to sell the hyper hyper popular games, then we may miss out on something like a Suikoden Five, which is something that I used to have back in the day, and then I traded it in. I'd love to get a new copy of that. Um, you know, and I get I have games like Valkyrie Profile and Suikoden Two, but now there's those of you that want to play that game who don't have to go out and spend a hundred plus dollars to get it on Amazon or eBay. I think depending on how what the what's the threshold for popular is what's going to kind of draw the line between this is good news and this is great news. I'm hoping that they'll draw the line at an area where it makes it great news for us. It's going to bring down the prices of these games on Amazon and on eBay. You know, with those games being out on the market, those those physical copies that are on Amazon and eBay will also drop in price because they won't be able to compete with GameStop. So I think it's a genius move. My hat is off to GameStop for doing it. And I really hope that it is going to live in the realm of great that we're talking about. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and end here. Thank all of you for watching. Thank all of you for liking and subscribing. Hope you're digging the new format. I finally got a camera that I can film myself with. It's not my phone taped to a vacuum cleaner, which is no, no BS. That's how I filmed my game violence video. Look that one up. But anyway, folks, it's been real. Thanks again for coming out. We'll catch you on the next Alloy 7 video. It's BC signing off. Peace and Godspeed. Alloy.